sometimes in your practice, what you need is silence and space. So today I'm going to guide you through a yin yoga practice with minimal cues. So I will guide you into the postures and I'll provide you with adjustments when you're there, but I will leave the time in between completely free of chatter to allow you to sink deeper into your practice. So guys, if you are a complete beginner to yin yoga, this might not be the practice for you. You'll be better served by one of the other videos on my channel that provide more physical and meditative guidance. And as always, I will try to make this video available for, to those of you who have plenty of props to use and to those of you who may just be using a couple of cushions off of the sofa. So get into your comfy clothes, set up your space and come and join me on the mat. Okay, so let's begin. Come into a seated position. Take a cross-legged position, maybe sit up onto a cushion. If for any reason this is unavailable to you, too strong for your body, please do feel free to lie down onto your back for the next few minutes for just a few moments to check in before we begin. So you can lengthen if you're sitting through the spine. Close the eyes. Soften around the eyes, soften the shoulders, down away from the ears. Breathing in and out through the nose. Just take a few moments to arrive. Begin to connect with the feeling, the experience of your body. And begin to allow unneeded tension to fall away as you breathe. Allowing for a deep breath now in through the nose all the way up to the very top. Out through the nose, nice and steady, allowing the breath to fall all the way down to the very end. And again, this time letting the belly rise first. down to the end. Opening the eyes, wiggling the fingers, the shoulders, and we'll come straight into our first posture, so caterpillar pose. Legs come straight out in front of you. 
option to support under the legs with a cushion or blocks. The more you bend your legs, the more gentle this will feel. So if it's too strong, this is your option. Sit up nice and tall first. Soften those shoulders down, lean forwards. And then nice and slowly, relaxing through the spine, letting the spine round, letting the head lower. Find a position for your arms that allows them to soften. And if you need to give support to the neck and shoulders due to the weight of the head, you can stack cushions in front of you or cushions and blocks or even a bolster. Find that perfect edge, not too little, not too much. Take your time to adjust. And once you've found your version of this posture, you can close the eyes. Bring your attention back in. Be with the body, be with the breath. And most importantly, each time you breathe out, allow your body to soften and release a little bit more. Remember you can take rest from the postures and you can adjust your posture whenever you need. So don't ignore any signs or signals from your body that things need to be adjusted. Coming towards the last few breaths. Allowing each breath out to be a release, a surrender. And in 
little deeper than the breath before. And walking your hands back in to allow the spine to come straight. Take your time, you will feel fragile on the way out of a yin posture, as many of you know. So, bringing the feet in, taking the hands behind you, lifting the chest high, arching the spine. And you can even move between the two. And keep that breath nice and smooth, and even now, stay as soft as you can through the face. Even the shoulders, the hands, releasing any unnecessary gripping from the body. Our next posture is a really beautiful stretch for the shoulders when you've been having shoulder pain or when they've just got tight and tense. A block does come in handy here. If you don't have a block, you can just use a cushion. And that works just as well. So placing the block in front of you at the head of your mat. And the forehead will rest into that block. So from an all fours position, we're going to thread one arm underneath and the other arm in the opposite direction. And then we're going to just slowly, slowly lower the hips down and allow the arms to thread out in either direction, taking the head to the block. So this time we will have the right arm below and the left arm on top. Okay, so the further out you crawl your hands, the more stretch you receive between the shoulder blades. You can make your block deeper. You could stack a couple of blocks or stack cushions to give just the right amount of support to the head. So as time goes on, you may feel like you want to crawl your hands out in the opposite directions just a little more. Try to soften through the legs and the hips. And give your weight over to the floor. And as you're breathing out, you're letting go. Breathing out, letting go. Soften physically. Soften mentally. You can practice actively bringing your attention to the moment, observing, noticing all the little details of this moment. Be here now.
last few breaths on this side. Okay, walking one arm back in at a time, taking the block away and just laying flat with your arms, maybe just up above you for the moment. You can turn your head to the side. Again, give the weight of your body to the floor a little bit more each time you breathe out. So allow yourself to get heavy and allow yourself to be supported. Coming back to do the other side. Okay, so going in the other direction now, we will take the right arm on top, the left arm below. Allowing the arms to reach out in either direction. Don't be afraid to have a little play around with just slightly shifting the angle, the positioning of the arms until it feels just right for you. So don't get too rigid and let yourself have a little play until you find the version of the posture that works beautifully for your body. Closing the eyes, coming back in. And arriving in the moment as you breathe and let go. If you haven't already, do allow your breath to drop down into your belly. So that as you breathe in, your belly will rise and gently press against the floor. As you breathe out, it falls. This is a calming, grounding breath to breathe down into the belly. Last few breaths here. Okay, 
one arm at a time, back to center. Press back to child's pose for a moment and drop your arms behind you this time as a counteractive measure. Head comes to the floor or maybe we make fists with the hands or rest the head into a block or cushion. And if you can't kneel in this way, if this posture doesn't suit your body, lay onto your back and just relax the arms down to the floor. Be heavy, sink into the floor, breathe out, let go. Rolling the spine back up into an upright position. And coming into sphinx posture on the belly. Rest into your forearms, relax through your spine. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Face is soft. Relax the hips, the thighs. So really apart from the little bit of activity in the upper body, everything else is allowed to melt and soften into the posture. If this feels too sharp, if it feels like pain in the lower back, take your arms forward and lower your chest. And if you would like a supported version of this, use cushions or a bolster under the chest for support. Now bear in mind, you can sit up high onto your forearms with a bolster or you can roll the bolster up to the top part of your chest, just under the armpits and rest your chin into the bolster. So that's a little lower, so you can adjust the depth if you're using cushions or a bolster as well. So again, find your version. When you're ready, close your eyes. You can give support to your head with a block. remember we're not only softening the body as we breathe out we're softening mentally so you can allow mental effort to fall away from you as you breathe out
If you would like to come deeper for a minute, you can press into the palms up to seal. You can wedge your cushions or bolster a little lower for support here too, making sure that your hips are still in contact with the floor. So slowly and carefully lowering to the floor, move your props, lay for just a moment, relax the shoulders, relax the lower back. And pressing your palm to the floor, push yourself back. Another child's pose, just a moment of counteractive posture. Feel how good that feels along the lower back. Just taking in this moment, savoring the little details. next posture will feel quite complementary to the back as well. So down onto your back for a recline twist. Okie dokie. So taking the arms out to the side at 90 degrees, draw the knees in and down to the right. You can place a cushion under the knees or in between the knees to give support if your legs don't want to come that far. So looking over your left shoulder, drawing your left shoulder down and then relaxing the body. So soften your thighs, soften your hips, soften through your spine. Give your body over to the posture, over to the twist. 
you need a little deeper maybe not now maybe in a minute or so but you can take your top leg take it up over the top and tuck it under the bottom leg okay so one more time that's the top leg goes up over and under the bottom close the eyes when you feel ready and just be here don't travel out just be here now enjoying the opportunity to be still soft and silent Last few breaths on this side. Drawing the knees back into center. Taking the arms out to the side again. Draw the knees back in towards the chest. Take the knees to the left. Take the head to the right. So remember you can support under or in between the knees with blocks or cushions. You could even give your head and neck support with a cushion or a rolled blanket maybe would be better here under the arch of the neck. A folded blanket under one shoulder if it lifts and that creates any pain in the shoulder. Or we take twisted roots, we take the top leg up over the top and under the bottom. Closing the eyes. Arriving once more. Maybe as we Come to the end here, you might like to use your breath, watching the breath as it rises and falls in a way that you become very present with each breath as it's happening.
the last few breaths here. Drawing your knees back into center, hugging your knees in towards your chest and rocking your knees from side to side, massaging your lower back into the floor. And we'll take our closing Shavasana. So you can take a bolster or cushions underneath the backs of the knees for support to the lower back. You can give support to your head with a cushion. And if you are feeling chilly, and that's any time in your practice, even in a posture, please do get a blanket over the body for warmth. Very important that we stay warm when we're practicing yin. So our arms can relax down to the sides, with the shoulders away from the ears a little. So reach the fingertips away. And then just let the whole body give its weight over to the floor. Close the eyes. Breathe through the nose. And with each breath out, allow another layer of effort or tension to fall away from the body. I'm going to be quiet and give you a few minutes, Shavasana, for your body to recalibrate and relax more deeply. And I will let you know when it's time for you to move. Wriggling our fingers and toes and a deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Take the feet and hands together. Take the arms up above the body and stretch from fingers to toes. Walking your feet in and rolling to the side. Support your head with a cushion or with your arm. You keep your eyes closed or your gaze low for now. Press your palm to the floor to come up to seated. And just sit for a moment, rest the 
Hands into the knees. Soften the face and shoulders. Sit up a little taller. That balance of yin and yang. Activity and softness in the body. And bringing the palms together at heart center, lowering the head, the nose to the fingertips. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. So this is the gorgeous Hugo who has joined us to end our class. So this is a class that I'd really love your feedback on, guys. So if you enjoyed that minimal cues video let me know um, if you'd like more of them in the comments I'm happy to make a whole series of these if they're going to serve people well let me know if you would prefer with or without music or there was enough guidance not enough for you um, I really I grow and I learn from your feedback so please do let me know how you got on in the comments if you would like to see um, regular videos from me, so I post weekly, so if you'd like to know about it, hit the subscribe button. And then if you hit the little bell, then you get a notification um, to let you know when they go live. And if you enjoyed, hit that like button on all of your support and your likes and your comments is all just so, so appreciated. Um, and it really helps me a lot. So from me and Hugo, who is now cleaning my blanket, so from me and the gorgeous Squidgy Hugo, hope you have a lovely day and I hope to see you back at the channel again soon.